I'm Aaron Norris and welcome to the Norris Group's Headline Roundup in Two. Uh, real estate headlines for the week in two minutes or less. And this is a follow up to our real estate news blog. If you don't follow it every week, you might want to check it out. So first up in the headlines, as of April, we all know the $8,000 federal tax credit for first time home buyers is done. But guess what? California, starting May 1st, has started a new program for $10,000 or 5% of the purchase price, whichever is less. $1 million, $100 million has been set aside for first time home buyers and $100 million has been set aside for new builds. Uh, you have to be in there for three years. It has to, uh, of course, there's tons of different stipulations. You're going to want to check out ftb.ca.gov for all the guidelines, but good to know that houseboats and mobile homes, as long as they're your primary residence, count for this. Also, you might want to look out for strategic alternatives. Uh, uh, Coldwell Banker is calling it the private sector solution, something they've rolled out. It's a voluntary, voluntary seller program where you can get $8,000 back as a first time home buyer, and this is provided by the seller. I'm not sure how they're going to get all these sellers to sign on, but I guess they're going to, figuring that they're going to take it somewhere, so why not? Um, financial reform bill, bill, Senate Bill 3217 continues. A lot of amendments were talked about this week, including the bank wind-down amendment, and also rumors that some uh, congressional members would like to see Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac gone and off taxpayer support uh, within a decade or so. Um, so the numbers, the unemployment not looking good, up to 9.9% this week, despite the 66,000 uh, jobs created by the census. Um, also, the U6 labor numbers increased uh, to 17.1 from 16.9 last month. So not great, but private sector jobs, they seem to think those are increasing and doing well. So that's a good sign, I guess. Stock market plunge of 1,000 points, fat fingers, or who knows what happens. They're still researching that one. If you missed it yesterday, where are you? Also, uh, that wraps up our news, but on a lighter note, Jennifer Shinbaum, congratulations. She just won uh, Pasadena's Annual Historic Preservation Award for her rehab in Pasadena. Thanks for doing fantastic work. Jennifer's a hard money borrower of ours, and thanks for showing them what uh, investors can do in a neighborhood, and good work. As you can see, the picture's right here. It's a pretty stunning change. And uh, coming next week, uh, May 11th, we're going to be in San Diego at SDCIA. You can check out their website at sdcia.com. We'll be there with Bill Tan, and Bruce will be speaking on, on the last $10 million worth of deals that we have funded as a hard money lender. We'll tell you where they're coming from and how big they are and how long they were listed on the market and where they got the deals. Very interesting stuff. On the radio show tomorrow is Leslie Appleton-Young. Of course, she is the chief economist of the California Association of Realtors. You can actually listen now. You can listen on iTunes. You can stream it on our website. You can even, even read it inside of our news, uh, our radio archives. So check those out. And of course, we'd love to be your hard money lender. If you're looking for hard money, check us out at thenorrisgroup.com. Or if you're looking for a place to invest and earn 9%, check out tngtrustdeeds.com. See you next week. 